partner at ENY. Morning to both of you, gentlemen. Amitabh, if I can start with you, your basic broad reading of the numbers that you saw. The numbers look mixed because uh, I don't see any particular industry where you, you see a, a, a sustained trend uh, across companies in that industry. So financial services, for example, you have a, a city bank showing a huge increase in the advance tax, which I, I believe is more of an adjustment for or a catch-up for the underpayments of the previous installments. But at the same time, I see uh, some other companies showing a, you know, a negative uh, yield. Uh, my own feeling is that, you know, across the industries, I expect FMCG, pharma, and financial services to still show a, a more positive uh, or a year-on-year -year growth in terms of tax uh, uh, payments and thereby profits uh, than some of the other industries. You know, before that, uh, the advanced tax uh, that the, com the, the companies pay and their correlation to the accounting tax that is finally paid, mm -hmm. How much of a difference, uh, you know, is there? Is there, a, is there a pattern or something that you can identify? Typically, ad advanced tax would have a very direct correlation would, uh, with the estimated profits uh, mm -hmm. uh, of the company for the year. And, and in case of listed companies, since uh, they publish results on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, there would definitely be a much direct uh, and a tighter correlation. Uh, definitely in the first couple of quarters, uh, the companies uh, typically pay advance tax based on their outlook for the year, mm -hmm. but as as they get you know more into the year, they 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 see more reality mm -hmm. uh, check coming Especially in. Especially at a time like this. That's right. So March is actually almost like a balancing number mm -hmm. uh, of how the year has been. So if so, comparing just March on March of two years may not be exactly the most mm -hmm. precise uh, way to analyze things. But if you see the whole year uh, figure of a company or industry, you know, from a year-on-year -year basis, definitely that will show us a much more uh, definite trend on how the industry is facing to, uh, do, uh, these days. But I mean, the third, certain nasty surprises in sectors, for example, we were just talking about pharma, you know, Lupin, Pfizer down about 77 Yeah, yeah, you mentioned that Lupin and, uh, Lupin and Pfizer uh, have shown a negative uh, March uh, advanced tax installment, which to me is surprising because I expect... Uh, pharma, of course, uh, to be much more resilient uh, in, in the downturn. People will continue to have health problems. People would still need medicines. Uh, these companies have a very good distribution channel. Uh, there's nothing wrong with their financials or balance sheet or the businesses that they have done. Uh, so I was expecting, uh, you know, a, a positive growth in the pharma industries and particularly these two companies, yes.